Hi there and welcome to the video. My name is Gareth and what I'm going to do here is I'm looking at an image here and there's a link to this in the description box if you want to download it for yourself to play around. Now what I want to do to this image is a very simple colour change but I want to change the colour of the jacket to a completely different colour. Now because it's quite a bold, it's quite a bold magenta colour even though it's got a pattern all over it it should be strong and bold enough to change with the targeted selection, meaning we probably won't have to make any kind of masks or paths or anything like that. So I always like to try with the hue saturation adjustment layer for this kind of thing. And we can either go up to the range option here and click magenta, or if you're unsure on your particular image, if you just click on this little double arrow here, it's the um, like the color picker or like the color selection area tool so we just press that press this and you can see it's actually gone to red in that area magenta in that one so depending on where you click it's gonna it's gonna think that bit so class that bit as either red or magenta and you can see down at the bottom now if it doesn't give you what you want we can refine this ourselves manually but let's just see at the moment what happens when we drag start dragging the hue slide around so as you can see it's doing quite a good job If you don't go too far, so we can push it into more of a red and orangey red and it's still looking okay. But then we go further than that and you see what happens. It's got multiple colours in there now. It's not a clean colour anymore. And that's because this selection down here is not um, encompassing enough colours. So the, you can expand this. As you can see, I'm clicking and dragging here. You can expand these little points to try and capture more of the colour. So you get a cleaner color change but the trouble is the more you push it outwards the more it could then start affecting other colors in the image which isn't a problem if you can quickly and roughly mask them out so if i turn this off so there we go if i just turn that off i turn that back on i can see that it is affecting some other areas of the image but there are only tiny little bits here and there so let's just say i quite like that green but it's way too saturated, so I'm going to drag the saturation slider right down on this. And I'm going to highlight the layer mask and press Control or Command I, depending on PC or Mac. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to really roughly brush the mask um, using white as the foreground colour, brush the mask over that area of the jacket just to mask it back in. So no accurate masking or paths need to be done, but because the colour change in the end did affect some little bits on the face, I don't and on the skin, I just I don't want to um, run the risk of it changing any of those. We're not noticing because we targeted the colour more precisely than just doing a general hue saturation change with the normal slider. It means that now we can be a lot less careful when we're just brushing that adjustment back in. And it's a great technique for anything that's got like it's quite solid, bold colours and you want to make a fairly substantial change with not much masking.